Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of any text or unwanted layers that you have in a picture that you may have gotten off the internet. For example, if you want to make your own background for your desktop and you want to add in other pictures from the internet um, and put like make a collage or something, um, usually when you grab an image off the internet it has the website address or someone's name and you want to get rid of that to make the image cleaner and look better so I have this image right here and if you want to scroll into the image just hold down control and then scroll in and um, see just generic website.com I'm just using this for an example so we want to get rid of this text right here so we're going to be using two tools to do that we use the color picker tool right here and we also use the paintbrush tool. Now the color picker tool, it selects the color of what you click on on the picture. The exact same color. So if I wanted to click um, or get the color of Bolt Boy's skin, I just click on it. And over here we can see that that's the color selected. Exa the exact same color as his skin. If we wanted his shirt color, we click on his shirt and it shows up that color. So, first step is to get rid of this M right here and we do that by selecting the black that's around the M and then we go to our paintbrush tool and just zoom in a bit and just color over it to make sh just to make it not there so get rid of this M and now I want to complete this outline that's here around Vault Boy so I go to the color picker tool zoom in a bit more select the color of the outline go to the paintbrush and we just color over it and then I want to fill in this right here so we gotta select the black again select paintbrush and this kinda takes a while but it's satisfying to do in the end it, it'll make your pictures look a lot better so we want to get rid of this mark right here, go to the lighter color, color over that. And uh, every once in a while it's good to zoom back out and see how your picture looks from a distance. See it looks like the M wasn't even there. So we keep just going through each letter by letter, um, just using the color picker tool and the paintbrush and this is a very simple picture it's pretty easy to recolor but once you get into the um, more advanced pictures um, it'll get a bit more difficult but it's just the same concept just selecting the color coloring over it to get rid of the text and I'll probably speed this up right here um, and I'll slow it down at the finished product
And there we have our finished product. Um, it just takes some practice and some getting used to it, but after a while of going through a few pictures and uh, practicing this, you'll become a master in no time. Now, um, so yeah, see, so it does. You just gotta make sure you get like the shading correctly and um, just keep rounding off edges and makes things making things smooth to um, make the picture look good. Um, See, it looks like the text was never even there in the first place. So, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment down below or send me a message. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is an example of using the paintbrush tool and the color picker tool to get rid of a website on... Um, a pretty big image. I wanted to use this image for my desktop background, but this website right here, the bottom left corner, was bugging me. So I went in and did the same process that I showed in this video. Just went around it, selected uh, the colors around it, and then colored colored it in. And in the end, I got this. And here, see the website's gone. It's not perfect, but it still looks pretty good, and I use it for my background right now. See, there's the website. And there. And this picture, um, I made it for my friend. He wanted a, um, a collage of a huge list of anime characters for his background, so I went in and erased around them, made them transparent, and pasted on them onto this background right here, and I had to get rid of um, some text on this. This is stocking from Panty and Stocking. I had to get rid of some text on her foot, and um, what else? I did this. This I believe this is Sakuya from the uh, what is it? Tohu games. I had to. There was a leaf on her arm, and I had to get rid of it using the color picker and paintbrush tool, and I believe... I don't think I did that for any other character. Oh yes, uh, C2 from Code Geass. There was some text on her um, dress right here that I had to get rid of, so... Those are just some examples of what you can do um, doing this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.